Saints of God of Camp United Methodist Church and beyond. I uh, wanted to let you know some of the opportunities we have as a community to live closer in love with God and each other. One of the things we're doing at camp is we are trying to uh, stay connected in a deep way. And we've always been sending out our prayer list, but I just encourage, let's be more intentional than ever before in this particular season of using that prayer list as a daily tool to pray for each other as a community, as one way we can see God work in us and through us as we stay connected together in prayer. Another opportunity I want to invite us to is one of the ways that we can join together in unity is join together in reading the scriptures together. We are entering into a season of the church where we're going to be using the lectionary readings every, uh, every week, and on Sunday we'll be preaching from the lectionary. My hope is that you will follow on this reading plan. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll distribute that next week. You'll get emails about the details about this. But during the week, you'll read the Old Testament reading, read the epistle, you'll read the gospel, reading, reading the psalm, and we'll all read those scriptures together in preparation for worship on Sunday. So that when you get to Sunday morning, you've already been soaking it. We as a community have already been soaking in the scriptures, ready to hear God speak to us afresh and anew. So I invite you and encourage you to be a part of that. And also at this moment, um, there is a hurricane off the coast and it's working its way up. should be here um, early in the week. And so um, be praying or praying for you and for each other, this, um, this community at large, that we would uh, do the things to be safe, to take care of each other. And we're praying for God's protection. But uh, be listening for how we can be a support if uh, opportunities for us to send out an emergency response team and stuff like that. Be listening for those opportunities to be able to serve and take care of each other and our community. And I'll let you know our COVID safety uh, team, task force, has been meeting uh, quite a bit recently, trying to prepare us for what is the next phase. Um, that information is, is out on our website. You should be getting emails about that. That document that we're putting together of all the protocols of how we're going to navigate um, living safely, trying to actually be an active source for good. So not just um, often people have been saying, we don't need to do things out of fear. And I'm like, you're right. We're not doing anything out of fear. We're choosing. We're choosing to do good to help change the direction of the pandemic. So we put all these protocols in place. Uh, so right now we're going to continue to worship online. And we got some policies in place for how many people can gather indoors and outdoors. And uh, we're going to try and create as many opportunities as we can to live in the fullness of this so that we can continue being the church in this unique context and this situation that we're in right now. But also, how can we do it in a way that's being an active force for good of changing this pandemic, changing the curve in the right direction? Saints of God, I have thoroughly love connecting with you and I can't wait to see what God is going to do in us and through us in the days ahead. Peace.